I'm Shibli and I always throw great videos out there talking about my hair growth and my pregnancy and a little bit of fashion tips here and there. So this video is going to be really fun. I'm going to try on a lot of great clothing, talk about the fabrics, where I got it from, and give you a little bit of fashion tips of heads up of what to wear for this summer that's comfortable um, being pregnant. So the first outfit I want to talk about is this tie-dye. Tie-dye, I feel like, is something that never goes out of style. It's like always something that you can always find and wear. I love the colors of the tie-dye. It's very soft. Um, has a drawstring all around, so in a stretchy band. And it can be washed in the washing machine, so you always want to make for sure of that. So this is a one X, y'all. I am definitely not a 1X, but I feel like I can wear this after the baby and before the baby and it'll look better, a little looser anyway. So this is a two-piece. You get the pants with a hoodie and then I'll be rocking it with my Nike Air Max neon. Yeah. All right, so I'm a pink lover, not really much of a purple lover, but this is so soft and you know, and again, it's another tie-dye. Dresses are really great to wear when you're pregnant because it's nothing tight around your stomach, your waist. And this, I can always wear it after I give birth to. I like this Pacific one because it actually has a little split right there. I don't like that the stitching is a little on the cheap side, but this is something I could probably wear my swimsuit underneath. $9 make you holler from Dee Dee's. And... It has another tag. I'll put the name of that one. But it's a size medium and it fits amazing. I'm going to rock those with some nice, cute Adidas shoes. Make it really comfortable. You know. So I wanted to do some sports bra. I love hot pink. It's called Wild. This is from Ross. It's padding. One size fits all. Adjustable. Very comfortable. This is a 1X uh, soft cotton. Only $4.99 from Dee Dee's. And it looks like maternity clothes, like it fits really good on me, you guys. And cotton material is really healthy for you know down there. Makes it easier to breathe. <laughs> but the bad thing about it, it's going to shrink. So I just had to make sure I bought it really big. For some reason, I'm feeling neon right now. Like hot colors just pop. Just makes you feel bright, you know. So this actually buttons down. This one's from Dee Dee's. Seven dollars is long. It's a dress. And then I bought like some $3.99 sunglasses I like these I like these a lot and they're really sturdy and good quality so, so yeah we're gonna do this skirt it's a two-piece skirt with the drawstring 100% cotton and it's a little tank top and I thought it'd be cute because my little belly would be out do a little nice photo shoot wear a swimsuit underneath it and I can rock them with my Fila hot pink Fila these are from Ross hot pink little Fila uh, flip-flops now these are great flip-flops because when your feet swell when you're pregnant you don't want nothing in between your toes and all that stuff you know what I mean so like this is perfect and then for the hospital too and you could do the uh, socks if you're cold so that's a perfect match for that so. last but not least you know I still gotta look cute I live in LA so if I decided to go do a little workout I got my leopard action with the straps in the back. So these were two for only $7.99. You saw the other one earlier. So that, and then this is like a nice colored uh, $5.99 from Dee Dee's shorts. 100% cotton and has two pockets on the side. 2X large, but it fits me like perfect. And then I was thinking I could definitely wear my Jordans with that as a workout. So. So majority of the things that I'm trying on, you guys, are like things that are very thin and material, nothing tight around the stomach. So I got a lot of breathing, a little loose, something I can wear after I give birth to, but then it doesn't look ridiculous. Because when you buy maternity clothes, it purposely has like extra fabric around the belly to make the shirt even in the front or something like that. And I like it, but I only really invest and the maternity bras, you know, for the breastfeeding, and then definitely shorts or some pants. But other than that, I like just wearing simple, extra large, 2X, 1X, big size 
clothing because I could like dress it up and like wear a belt, you know, when I lose weight and lose the baby and just still make it really fashionable statement and keep it in my closet. But not just if it has a loose belly bump in the belly area, it's going to look kind of odd. So 35 weeks, it's, it's saying that the baby's 18 inches long. Wow. 5.25 pounds and I got five more weeks to go oh my gosh so it's saying that I'm going to start feeling pain in my knees I'm gonna get swollen in my face especially my nose my hands my ankles my toes I did wake up this morning and did have like a serious cramp in my leg so I do officially have a doula and I'm really happy about that and we're going over different things of the birth of what I want to have done and stuff um I've been feeling very uncomfortable lately so I'll, I thought that like getting a couple clothes will make me feel better or be more comfortable because it's a little bit more loose fitting it's no way to feel good when you're sleeping in bed I mean laying on the left propping a pillow underneath the belly on the back on the side is still like oh I can't breathe it's so tight but this baby does not like spicy food. Uh, I was trying to eat Indian curry. I've been craving that. I've been wanting that forever. Just like sushi that I'm gonna tear up after I have this baby. But I'm like, I can't even eat one of them, you know, the sushi because the baby's not having no seafood, no spicy food all night. I, the baby was tossing and turning. I was like, damn, this baby really doesn't like spicy food. So I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> but I still eat my fruits, salads. Uh, I've really been into hamburgers. I'm not really a hamburger lover like that, but um, the baby's been wanting some kind of meat, so I'm giving it to him. This week, I am seeing a lot more swelling, especially my nose, my under eye, my cheeks, um, my thighs, my legs. Yeah, I could see it. So I hope some of these fashion tips were kind of helpful, uh, cheerful colors, don't, you know, don't worry, you can do it, not wear black and solid stuff all day, be fun, you know, this is like a great moment of your life, so let everybody see you, you are a queen, hey, I'm wearing my neon orange, you know, my leopard, I want to be seen, you know, they say we're glowing, I feel good. I want you guys to leave comments down below like what outfit was your favorite um you know if you have any comments of like of you don't even want to go shopping you just want to make it work or what's in your closet I can help you out you know just leave some comments down below 